Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with horse racing tips for Thursday the 29th of August. Well, disappointed day on the horses, two non-runners, two nowheres. The football bet was down, so we need to kick on and hopefully that starts with Thursday's bets. It's just a fiver. I'm um, going for a 10 pence each way, lucky 15, and 25 pence each way singles. And as you can see, the first one is Tassifer at 40 to 1 in the 18 minutes past two race at Carlisle, paying four places instead of three. I actually, this is my, if you can call it, my nap of the day. Um, it's the one that is the most interesting out of all four selections. Um, I'm not convinced it'll come placed, but I'm convinced that they've got the market absolutely wrong. So, yeah, Tassifer, it's having its second run for Patrick Morris, having uh, left the stable of Tim Easterby. It was rated much higher um, in the last year to 18 months. It ran well off that mark. It loves soft ground, um, having run well on soft ground. Um, it's ex I think it's off something like 52 now, where it was running quite well. In well, It was running, at times last season, it was uh, running well off much higher handicap marks. But it was a little bit inconsistent. It's left Tim Easterbiz. Uh, as I said, it stays a mile well. Um, loves soft ground. And uh, it was 9-2 to two last time in a similar kind of race. Um, ridden by Safi Osborne. I think it might have been the um, the ladies' day where, you know, when apprentice, amateur and professional women jockeys, it was just their day at Carlisle. I think it was one of those um, races. But... It was. It took a keen hold, never better than mid division, uh, beating about eight lengths. I think that was good to firm ground. I'm, that was the first run for Patrick Morris. It's now the second. Obviously, it's now the second run, and I think it, it, it's pretty interesting because also this jockey, Miss Chelsea Brooks, she's actually got a thirty three percent strike rate this season. She's only had three mounts, and one of them's won. Um, I just think forty to one to go from nine to two to forty to one. Um, in a similar kind of grade as what it ran in last time. And it's got its favoured soft ground. Um, I've heard of the jockey before. I don't know how good she is, but obviously she's she, she's doing well this season. I just don't think it should be 40 to 1. Um, so, yeah, very interesting selection. And I think it, it could it could well end up being 125s. But I believe you could well end up seeing it shorter on the day. That's why it's the only one where I've taken the price. The second selection is one I've backed recently. Um, Gaiety Musical in the 240 at Chelmsford paying three places instead of two. This horse ideally needs to go straight to the front and dictate its own pace. Um, I did back it, I think it was three runs ago, and it comes second under Neil Callan. It's once again come second under Neil Callan. Um, so it's Clifford Lee on board, and I think if, if he rides a smart race from the front, it could be very hard to pass. Um, and it's got a first time head um, hood as well. The third selection is Odin Legacy in the ten past three at Chelmsford. So this family progressed with time. It had two runs last season. I'm not quite sure why it hasn't run since. Maybe they put it away to strengthen up. I don't know. It's got an inside draw, so it's got to get out. Um, first time it ran, it didn't get out, and it was um towards rear made headway. The second time. It showed quite a lot of pace until weakening late on. So hopefully um, it makes the most of its stall two and it's prominent or just behind the leaders. And I think it could run well. You should probably be able to tell how well it's going to run by the price. It's 12 to 1 currently. If it ends up being 50s, then um, it's probably unlikely it's going to come placed. If it's steady or shortens, then we've got half a chance. And the final selection is Indian Romance in the 340 race at Chelmsford. And those are the selections. So if you can give me a like or a subscribe or a share or a comment, I'd really appreciate it. Charlie Winters, over and out. Cheers, mate.